Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry it's been so long, but uh, you know, treat them mean, keep them keen. That's what they say. I feel like the time has possibly come where I should like try and make a little intro or something for my videos, what do you reckon? I'm not really sure how to go about it with just an iPhone, but you know, that'd be kind of cool. I could have my own little jingle or something like that, like make a little song for myself. It's another Susie video diary. Zero satisfaction guarantee. Nailed it. There's a little ginger cat in the window across the way from me. Oh my god, it's so cute. I might go over and steal it after this video. Anyway, so how are you? I've been good. I've been very busy with my job. You know, I'm, I, I know some of you guys have maybe picked up on the fact that I work in animal rescue, but I actually work on the reception. I'm the receptionist. Uh, you know, I don't hate the job at all. I always said growing up, oh my god, working in an office nine to five, that would be the shittest thing I could ever do. I would hate myself. Um, but it turns out I'm actually quite good at it, <laughs> you know, uh, there's somebody at the door. You guys, I actually answered the door when it knocked there. You know how sometimes I, well, you know how I never answered the door. Um, the greatest thing just happened. Something that I ordered arrived. So we're going to have like a little impromptu unboxing on, on video. Um, I ordered more lipsticks because, you know, I only own like 40,000. So I needed to add to my collection a little. But I ordered really special, specific ones. They're they're from a company called Pretty Zombie, and their makeup's like really cool. It's cruelty free, and it's really pretty. Not that I'm cruelty free anyway, but it does make me feel slightly better about buying it. Yeah, let's see what I got. I can't get the I can't get the fucking box open. I broke the beard. You're naked on my vlog. I'm just turning you around to hide Dave's shame. He's walking about naked now, so. Don't want this to get flagged. Oh, I got in. Pretty zombie. This is not an ad. I just really love these guys. As if I'm like famous enough for anybody to pay me to do an ad for them. <laughs> He's gone. Okay, so the first colour I got is called Midnight and it's like this amazing navy blue. Ooh. Oh my god, it's glorious. Navy blue. I don't know how well that's coming out for you guys. The other one that I got is called Tombstone. They have two two greys, they have two shades of grey, a lighter one and a darker one. The lighter one's always sold out, but I don't really understand why, because the darker one is just so much nicer. Um, but it's fine with me because it meant I was able to order one, so. <laughs> uh, they're both glorious. They're both absolutely glorious. Can you see? So they're an American based company um, and you just go on their website and just order stuff and you can pay with PayPal and it's brilliant. You know, you don't have to like go through the whole hassle of putting in all your details. In fact, I think that might be one of the only payment methods they accept. Oh, that was cool. I'm glad they arrived. I should put one on for the video. What do you think? Which one should I put on? One of my problems with lipstick is that I'm always worried that they'll make my teeth look more yellow. My teeth are like my big problem area because of my eating disorder past. Um, my teeth are like horrible and damaged now. So if I get a colour and put it on that makes it look even remotely yellower, I just won't wear it. Now I'm scared. <gasps> I do want to put them on and them not be good. I'll do it in private. Oh look, little fake mouse. I was talking about how I was a receptionist and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, I, turns out I'm quite good at it. And that's really odd. <laughs> it's really strange to me, but it's like I always thought that if I was going to be a receptionist that I could like wear cute little outfits and like my sexy glasses and stuff like that, but it's completely not the case. You just get really sweaty because you're busy all the time. Yesterday was apparently National Receptionist's Day, which I didn't know if I'd known that. I would have forced them to like be much nicer to me in work than they generally are. Not that they aren't nice to me, but you know, you know, anybody that wants to bring me cake or, you know, endless cups of coffee, that would be fine. Because as we all know, coffee is life. Although you spend so much time talking all day as a receptionist. I don't know if any of you guys out there have ever worked in that sort of like customer service based role before. Um, but you spend so much time talking to people that by the end of it, when you come home, you're just like, don't talk to me. I'll come home at the end of the day and the beard hasn't like seen anyone all day and he'd be like, oh, hey, how are you? And I'm just like, fuck up. <laughs> I went to see Guardians of the Galaxy 2. It was pretty good. I liked it. Um... I did get a bit pissy throughout some of it. I was all like, oh, this isn't the way that it is in the comics. This this isn't like this isn't legit. Um but then I still really enjoyed it. I don't really read Guardians of the Galaxy, I just know an awful lot about Marvel because I have no life. I can see why they've gone the way that they've gone with the story. I don't want to give any spoilers because it's still fairly new, but I can see why they've gone the way that they've gone with the story in the context of the overall Marvel story arc that they're they're doing with you know the Avengers and all the little separate Avengery stuff. I can kind of see 
why why they've done that. Um, and yeah, I liked it. Um, you know, I'm still really invested in the whole Marvel universe. I know it's been going on for a really long time. Um, and some people are getting really sick of it now. Some people are getting really bored of it. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? You know, this is clearly the best thing that's going to happen in my life. And when it's all over, I'll just die peacefully in my sleep, please. I also, I had too much free time one day last week. I probably could have shot a video, but I didn't because I think I couldn't be bothered like getting dressed and putting my makeup on, even though that takes me all of like four minutes. But I um I did this little uh, test on Facebook. You know how sometimes you're scrolling through and these little quizzes come up? Um, and I did a really cool one today that was like, you know, which Guardian of the Galaxy are you based on your mixtape? And they give you all these options. And I had to do it like six times because there were so many songs that I couldn't choose just one out of each category. Um, so I, essentially I ended up as every member of the team at one point. But um, I also did this one, um, like a face analysis test. And I was like, oh, okay. Basically what it looked like was a face analysis test and I thought it was going to say, you know, based on the shape of your ears, you're like 72% smart or, you know, 35% Caucasian or, you know, something like that. Turns out it's a test to gauge how ugly you are. So I did this test um, and you have to like move all the little lines to like, you know, measure your nose compared to like the photo and stuff like that. And then it takes a reading. Um, and according to Facebook, I'm like ugly clinically ugly they're like oh you got 49 percent. you are ugly and I was like standard um I went out at the weekend which is like as you all know not something I do very often because whenever I have a day off and it's sunny I tend to shut the curtains and you know live in my cave being all like you know but me and a few of the other girls from work all had the same weekend off and it's a really hard job to get everybody off at the same time because it's open every day but because I was off the whole weekend it was my weekend off but I was like oh I'm gonna start drinking now and this was at like half ten in the morning um but I started off easy don't get me wrong I started off slow I'm drinking grape soda <laughs> as we talk I promise there's nothing in it it's just grape soda but grape soda is the best anyway, I was drinking these little pre-mixed cocktails and I always think they're gonna be way nicer than they actually are they're usually genuinely stinking and I bought uh, a Cuba Libre is that how it's pronounced which is like Bacardi and lime and stuff like that and I thought oh that sounds really good and it was disgusting it tasted like paint thinner it was horrible and then I had what was it I had a gin and tonic <laughs> a standard gin and tonic and then I also had there's this one that you can get and um, it's a new one from Jack Daniels and it's like Jack Daniels and lemon oh my god it is like the nectar of the gods it is so good and I've been like like every time I'm over in Tesco I buy one because that's the only place I've ever seen them that you can buy them I'm just like oh getting too into these now but I drank them slowly it wasn't like I was pissed by like half two in the afternoon or anything like that um to listen to me trying to justify how much I'm not an alcoholic when I clearly am you know um but we had a couple of drinks at mine and then we went out and that's when the fun really started because a lot of people when they go out they're like they drink a vodka and coke or they drink gin and tonics or they drink you know whatever I tend to want to just try whatever takes my fancy at the bar which means I mix my drinks quite heavily the one thing I don't drink is vodka I completely stay away from that because if I have even a sniff of vodka I'm like fight me I got a cocktail that I really wanted to try it was called an aviation which is like lavender and violet um and all like lemon juice and stuff like that I've tried to make them myself in the house before but I didn't have any sugar syrup and I didn't have any bitter lemon so I just used like pure lemon juice and like a spoonful of sugar and it was actually disgusting it was rancid so I thought oh I'll get one now while I'm out and I'm sure it'll be really lovely it was fucking hiving I was disgusted I actually spilled some of it at one point I didn't even care even though it cost me like seven quid so we ended up down the rabbit rooms in Bangor which is this really lovely little bar it's really small it has a little snug and we like we managed to get in it I was so shocked I didn't even know it was there but we managed to get in it um and we were drinking basically everything and at one point one of the girls was like tequila shots and I was like yeah that seems like a really good idea at this point it was not a good idea I also had like Tia Maria and I had oh god we had something called a baby Guinness which I think is Tia Maria and Bailey's um that was really nice I really like that I would have that again in the future but like when you're out drinking with me this is the thing about me, I have no shame really to speak of. I don't have any dignity left, but I have no shame, so it doesn't really seem to matter, it kind of balances out. And I will ask the questions that people want to know. I don't make small talk. I say things like, what shape is your vagina? What's the weirdest thing you've ever done sexually? And then I expect an answer, no matter how long I've known you. <laughs> I'll just tell you mine as well. I'm just like, oh, this is what I've done. Ha 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 ha. Isn't this so funny? We've got to look each other in the eye tomorrow and work. <laughs> 
And at one point I forced one of the girls apparently to feel my boob. I was like, feel the weight of these, like seriously, because she's really wee and like, I'm not. So I was like, you don't know what it's like having big boobs and like forced her to feel them. Um, and the next day she was messaging me like, oh my God, you made me feel your boob. And I was like, this is not the worst thing I've ever done to someone when I'm drunk. You're lucky you actually kind of got off lightly, you guys, you know. When I woke up the next day, I didn't feel like I needed to make any apologies. Whether I'm sorry or not, sometimes I just do it because I'm like, oh, smooth the waters. But yeah, they were all like, ha ha you're so funny. And I was like, you've seen nothing yet. <laughs> I was, I woke up the next day and I was still completely pissed when I woke up. So I was like, no, I've got to, I've got to sit up. I've got to get up. It's about half seven in the morning. And I went into the living room and sat upright. And like, I still don't really do hangovers as such. I never throw up after I've been out for a night drinking. My body won't do it. You know, it's not in my genetic line to waste alcohol that way. And then as soon as it hit 12, I was like, Domino's is open. I'm getting myself a Domino's. And I ordered myself a Domino's. I'm lying there on the sofa, all chins, like no makeup, last night's makeup, literally all chins, right? So like, you, you imagine you're like the phone and I'm scrolling through, right? And I'm shoving pizza in my face. Like, look how unattractive this is. This is so disgusting, right? And I'm shoving pizza in my face. Um, and one of the girls tags me in a photo and I was like, oh, this cannot end well. And I was completely right. Tagged in the photo. I looked like some kind of sea beast sitting next to one of the girls. <laughs> like, like I was going to eat her. And I was just like, oh God, this is not a good feeling. <laughs> So, um, I never, I didn't untag myself in the photos. I don't hate myself that much. I was just like, this is just funny. It's so bad. But I, I, I can't take a good picture on a night out. I can't do it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because I am actually ugly, like Facebook says, or if it's because it's just not in me to do it. Like nearly every photo I take, especially when I'm with my sister, we're all just like, Rrr, you know, because we just think it's really funny. But like so many of the photos that I took of them, they're all smiling really nicely and I'm just being a complete ass in the background. Um, One of the girls put a little compilation together for me. I'm going to put it in like right here. Okay, like right here. So as you can see, that's me basically on a night out. Any night out, this is the sort of stuff that I do, you know. I hate myself. <laughs> I'm on a countdown now, Luke, my friend Luke, that you all know that I'm always banging on about. Um, He's got something like four weeks or something like that until he has to leave. In fact, I think it's even less than that. Um, and I'm really sad about it, even though I've got some other really good friends and, you know, I always go on lovely little adventures with Chris and stuff like that. And he's a little bit more open to me vlogging him than Luke is. Um, even though they're both really cool, really funny guys. Um, I am really going to miss him. He's going to be away. I mean, it's going to give me a great opportunity in the future, wherever he ends up being based with his new job. Um, I'll go there and I'll visit him and I'll vlog there and it'll be really cool. You probably get more videos out of it, though, which, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing for you or not. I'm not going to lie. I mean, look at the look at the pure non-quality content that I'm already delivering you. Yeah. I think I'm going to start a new series of videos because guys I think it's time we need to get to know each other better Um, so I'm going to start a little series of videos and I think I'm going to do a little A to Z of me, what I like, what I'm into, why I'm into it, you could watch it and know me better and then you know I'll feel like self-important in my own small sphere of the world. I hope you guys are doing well, love you loads have a good week. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to go and try my new lipsticks. Bye!